Welcome, War Robots fans. Today I'm going to talk to you about what are the top five weapons you should start upgrading with the impending shotgun nerf coming. In the near future, Pixonic is going to nerf both the energy and projectile shotgun weapons. Storms, Coronas, Halos, and Glories are all going to be effective and they dominate the battlefield in the current meta. So having this is going to have a major impact on the game. I actually agree with this nerf because the shotgun weapons paired with the leech right now just turn the leech into a steamrolling machine that allows leeches to just steamroll at least two to three bots if not more uh, in a spawn and the reload time is next to nothing so I actually agree with this nerf so I think it's a good thing by Pixonic with that said this video is really to get you prepared for the nerf so when it hits you'll have the best stuff ready to go in your hangar So here we go, what weapons should you be upgrading after this nerf or in preparation for this nerf? Number five is Hussars and Freedom Hussars. The 600 meter range is great for medium to long range maps and you could deal a full clip of damage in less time than a leech ability uh, de deactivates. So, so getting all the damage off during one leech ability lets you fire off all of your ammunition then get behind cover and rinse and repeat that's nice uh, it's not brawling it's not the typical leech play but it's going to be the new meta as we start to move away from shotguns and get away from being able to maul just multiple bots at a time number four on this list is vipers I never really liked Vipers, but with the new Aojun pilot with persistent active radar being released, there's going to be a lot more Aojuns on the battlefield. Currently, people running Aojuns are running Redeemers, Avengers, Glories, and Calamities for the most part. A few people are running Dragoons, and a few, even less, are running uh, Tempest to counter Ao Mings. But for the most part, that's what people are using. With the corrosive damage of the Aojun special weapon, Dragon Breath, as well as the corrosive damage of the Vipers, they can be very effective against both Leeches and Titans. Leeches and Titans, as well as bots like the Falcon and the Fenner, are really dominating because of their resistances, and the corrosive damage is really a good counter to the bots with those resistances. The third weapon type you should be leveling on this list is Cryos and Sinister Cryos. I have mixed feelings about the cryos due to the slow reload time and their slow projectile speed that makes it hard for them to pair with other weapons and actually hit targets without the splash damage. You really have to lead targets quite a bit and I don't really especially like that. With those negatives out of the way, it's important to really concentrate on why cryos are on this list. They're really on the list because they have a really high damage per second with their burst even though it's 300 meter range. And they have the freeze ability, which actually compounds damage and slows enemies down. So it'll help your teammates out. It's great when you're battling leeches, you want to tape them the extra damage. So it really is a strong weapon in the current meta. Also, due to their recent release, you can be relatively certain they won't be nerfed in the very near future, which is nice if you're going to invest your resources. Number two on this list is igniters and freedom igniters. About a year ago, the Embers really dominated the heavy weapon slots because of their sustained DPS, solid damage output, energy shield bypass, and physical shield bypass, as well as a short reload time. Igniters are really the new version of the Ember. Igniters are also going to be strong against Arthur shields due to being a physical shield and igniters having a physical shield bypass. Four igniters on a leech are roughly equivalent to two igniters on a bulwark or an Aojun. Really suggest these igniters. I have a few friends that run them and they love them. Finally, the number one thing you should be upgrading in this new meta after the shotguns are nerfed are pulsars. It's no secret that pulsars are really becoming a strong weapon in the current meta. Manny made a video a while back about it. They're really a pain to counter on the battlefield. 600 meter range, minimal damage drop off over distance, high accuracy, and of course lockdown ability makes them really a complete headache to play against. I have two pulsars fully maxed out in my current hangar and I have four ready to be invested in. The only real downside to pulsars is there's a possible rework coming in the future and that could impact how they play. 
there you have it. That's my top five weapons that you should be investing in with this shotgun nerf impending. Let's go over it with a summary. Number five, Hussars. 600 meter range, burst DPS is strong, delivering uh, all the DPS during one leech ability. Number four, we have Vipers, 500 meter range, corrosive bypass, resistance is great for leeches and titans. Number three is Cryos and Sinister Cryos. The freeze ability really compounds damage and they're not likely to nerf it any time in the near future since it's such a new weapon. The long reload and the needing to lead targets is annoying, but really the, the DPS is so strong, it's really worth it when you're trying to burst and brawl from close range. Number two, we have the Igniters, 350 range. It's a little bit longer than the Cryos. Love the fact that they bypass energy shields and physical shields and the fast reload time really makes it closer to the storms and other shotguns because of the sustained DPS. I really am excited to try uh, four Igniters on a leech and see how it plays. Last but not least, of course, we have the Pulsars. That's not anything new to anybody else. 600 meter range they're very annoying to play against the lockdown ability is very frequent and they're a good counter to short range leeches since leeches can't leech more than 500 meters that's it for this video i hope you liked it if you did please consider liking and or subscribing till next time this is cinco and i'll see you on the battlefield